In this demonstration, we're going to walk you through the new integration between Infor Mingle and Infor CRM. And just a few notes before we get into the demonstration. Infor Mingle is one part of the Infor Ion tech stack. So Infor has uh, a product called Ion, and it's a, in addition to being an integration tool between their various business software packages, including CRM and their, and their ERP products. It also includes a product called Mingle. And Mingle is similar to Microsoft Messenger or HipChat and Yammer. And these are software packages that allow inter-office communication so that you can post messages and reply to messages amongst your colleagues within your office. And Mingle is included with the ION tech stack. But where it takes it a step further in this case is it also allows those posts to be contextual, meaning that they can be related to Infor CRM records, such as accounts, leads, opportunities, tickets, that sort of thing. So that's what we're planning to show you today. And it's available to Infor Cloud customers. You get Ion, which includes Mingle at no additional cost. And it's also included for Infor on-premise customers if they own Infor CRM and an Infor ERP product, they will also get what I'll show you today at no additional cost. And as of today, it still hasn't been determined by Infor what the pricing would be for CRM on-premise customers who do not have an Infor uh, ERP product. It's also compatible with Infor CRM 8.3 and above, and it also requires, just for a little tech background here, it requires uh, ADFS, which is uh, Active Directory Federation Services, which is a standard feature in Windows uh, servers, so that does have to be activated and available along with a, a valid certificate for access to web applications. So what's included if you are an Infor CRM customer, it, the ION package uh, includes Mingle, which we're showing you today. ION also includes workflows, and I'm going to show you one of the workflows today. And it includes alerts, either through pop-ups on your desktop or through an email alert system, which is built into Mingle or both. Uh, and it includes the integration BODs for the various Infor ERP software applications. And most of those are two or one way. Many of them are two-way integration between CRM and ERP. And Infor is continuing to, to complete that integration story very, very quickly. So the odds are pretty good that certainly with their common ERP packages, this integration uh, between CRM and, and ERP is already available to you. And the way it connects, the way ION connects to CRM is through a combination of APIs and BODs or business object documents, which are the containers of data that ION stores, which it then consumes and makes available to other Infor uh, software packages. So an example of that would be if you're integrated to an Infor ERP package, you can see invoices in CRM, and ION in the background is moving that data out of ERP into ION, and then that it's available for CRM to go retrieve that information from ION. So it's a hub-and-spoke type integration versus a point-to-point -point integration, at least when we talk about the story of what the BODs are doing. But the parts of the integration that are driven by the API are near real-time or real-time. So you'll see some evidence of that as we move forward here. So I've logged into ION, and it is browser-based. So it's a website that your users would gain access to. And part of the single sign-on story through this ADFS is that I only have to sign in to ION once. And upon doing so, it automatically logs me into CRM, and it automatically logs me into my ERP package if I have security to do that, as well as logging me into any other 
uh, ion-enabled Infor software package such as document management, uh, business intelligence, CPQ. So basically their whole suite of software packages can be launched and logged into right from within this home page of the ION interface. So what I've done is I've added a couple of chart widgets to my home page because I wanted to see CRM related data. And so you can see I've got some ops by rep, open ops in a, in a little donut shaped graphic here. I've got some campaign response count by rep. And then I've also got some bookmarks, which is one of the other features that the Mingle integration brings is the ability to bookmark specific pages either within your ERP system or your CRM system. So we'll show you that as we move forward. And then in the middle here, I've got my Mingle posts. So these are posts that I've made or somebody's replied to one of my posts. Or if somebody's posted something and I'm following them, kind of like what Facebook does, those posts are all going to show up in my personal feed. And I'm SpongeBob, as you can see. That's the graphic I chose for my user login. So that I see all my posts or any posts somebody made to me are going to show up in here as well. All right, so from here, if we click on these uh, squares in the upper left corner of home pages, these are some of the other destinations we can go to within the Ion desktop interface. So we're on the home page, which is these widgets I chose to put on the screen. I can go to InforMingle itself, and this is my feed displayed to me chronologically, and I can scroll up and down here. I can also click on Infor CRM because that's one of my business apps, and you notice it instantly takes me to Infor CRM. And then if I click the red Infor square in the upper left corner, it takes me back to my home page again. So we were able to get to CRM a couple of different ways. One of them is, like we showed you, click on CRM uh, in my application box. I can also have my bookmark sitting over here. So if I have a specific account bookmark, which I do, Abbott Limited, I can click on that bookmark, and the CRM system will take me to that specific account. So the other shortcut took me to my home screen for CRM. This bookmark we just clicked on takes me specifically to Abbott Limited because I bookmarked uh, that particular uh, record in the system. And I've got my bookmarks organized by ERP and CRM. And so you can create this usable bookmark list to reflect the places you would commonly go in your workday uh, by listing your favorites here. All right, so let's get into the Mingle integration part. And you'll notice here we are in CRM. And up in the upper right, we have a couple of little arrows pointing to the left. And if I click on that, a pop-out window shows up and shows me some contextual information that I chose. So I told Ion that when I click on that, I want to see my Mingle posts. And you'll notice as I hover over them, they pop out and show me all the details underneath each post. But I've also got any tasks that have been assigned to me through my workflows. Those would show up here. And also, if I have any alerts that I've told that I want set up, those would show up here as well. So you can expand and collapse this throughout your day as you're sitting in CRM. And then also, if my little user guy here uh, turns yellow, that means that there's some kind of a notification. It's not right now, but if I had any notifications that, I, that went off, you would see them and this is my list of notifications now, again, which is part of Mingle. So these can be uh, alerts where somebody's posted something for me, or I had some kind of a workflow alarm set up for something I was supposed to do today. Um, then this is in the Mingle workflow, not activities in CRM. That, as you know, has its own alerts and pop-ups that show up in CRM. But if I had any uh, new notifications I didn't uh, I didn't click on yet, it turns my little guy yellow, so I know there's something new that showed up in my notifications here. So we'll jump back to uh, CRM, and at Abbott Limited, 
to create a bookmark, let's let's go to John Abbott and say we want to bookmark him. So wherever you are in CRM, if you click on the bookmark icon and then say bookmark this page, it's going to give you a new bookmark indicator here that it's a contact in CRM and it's John Abbott. And then if you save it, it's going to add him to your list of bookmarks that you bookmarked. So the other thing you can do from in CRM is you can post or create a post in Mingle from a notes and history in either accounts, uh, contacts, leads, opportunities, and tickets. And you'll notice a new icon here that looks like a little uh, call out. And, it, and if you hover over, it says share on Mingle. So let's scroll down to uh, an email here and highlight that, that email. So we've got that email selected. And then we can click on the share to Mingle. And it will then post all the content of that particular uh, history record into my Mingle feed. So that was an email about Phoenix Computers. So if we jump back over now to Mingle and my activity feed, you will see right here that that entire email and all the content of it that was stored in CRM history has now been posted by me on my Mingle feed. Now what you can do from here is you can share this to other users in Mingle. Maybe I want my boss to see what just happened here. So I, I can share that either with a tag user. So that's done by an at sign. Again, kind of like your Facebook feeds and Yammer and, and Twitter feeds. If you put an at sign in there and say something like at in for, as I started to type, it started to give me a list of all the users in Mingle that started with those characters that I was typing. So I can say, I want to share this with a user in Mingle called InforDemo, which is going to be my boss in this case. And then once I share that, he's going to get a post on his feed that I chose to share this post with him. Now, some of the other things you can do from here is you can add comments. So once the post has been made, I can say uh, something like, hey, boss, please review. And then uh, add that as a reply. And I can, again, put the at sign in there so he gets notification that I'm addressing him to help me with this particular uh, posting that I had added. Some of the other things you can do is add attachments to these posts. You can like them much like you can do on Facebook. And also it includes what are called drill backs. Now because this post started in Infor CRM on a particular Infor CRM record, you'll notice up at the top, it's got some hyperlinks to uh, the account Abbott Limited, that's who the history record was, and the contact at Abbott Limited that the history record was for is John Abbott. So if I click on these drill back uh, selections here in this little purple box, I can now tell the system, I want to go to John Abbott. He was linked to my shared post. So if I click on John Abbott, CRM will now take me to John Abbott. So when my boss gets this post, he can, with just two clicks, go right into CRM and drill into CRM and see the record that I was asking him about, and that was John Abbott in this case. So again, uh, if you pop this out, you'll see my latest posts here. And so without having to hop back to Mingle, I can stay in CRM and I can see this post that I just shared up on my feed uh, if, uh, if I don't want to jump back into Mingle to see it. And you can collapse that as well. You can also do a Mingle post from a CRM if you want to. Uh, unrelated to a record. Um, and again, look at your bookmarks. You've also got searching capabilities to look for specific posts uh, if you want to. So let's jump back to my home page again and take a look at some of these dashboard widgets. They work very similar similarly to the way they work inside of CRM. 
So if I click on this little three dots and say configure, it's going to pop up just like it does in the dashboard widgets in the CRM application. You choose the entity that you want to build the dashboard for. You build a group, choose the dimension and the metric, and then you have a choice of, well, what kind of dashboard widget are you wishing to display here? So you have the choice between bar, column, donut, line, and pie. So similar to what the CRM app has on its own home page, but the advantage to having this here on your home page is I could have several of these KPIs and graphs and charts related to my other Infor applications. So I'd be able to see a pie chart about, let's say, my recent invoices to my customers or something to do with receivables or quotes or whatever. So as you can see, it's, it's a more of a high-level view into your whole world of Infor apps, not just CRM-related uh, data on these dashboards. And you can build as many of these different dashboards as you want. I call this one CRM, but I could have a whole separate home page uh, built just for ERP, for example, and or I can mix and match any of the uh, different widgets and KPIs. So if we click into the widget catalog, here's a list of all the available ones, and you can also build your own with, uh, with Mingle and Ion. So you can see your alerts, things like that, um, your bookmarks, which I've got on my page, your BI stuff. The uh, You can add image files, um, pricing inquiry pages, uh, notes, uh, purchase orders, things like that, your tasks. So this is just an idea of all the different uh, widgets that are available right out of the box with the Infor, Ion, and Mingle story. So that's our demonstration. Thank you for watching.